You know what they say, it's not about what's on the outside, but rather the inside. Which is why the PS5's internal hardware is to be redesigned. Hey guys, I'm Miss Woho and this is the Gamer News. According to a new report, Sony is to start production on a redesigned PS5 in 2022. They're not redesigning its external appearance, of course, but rather all of its internal technology that makes the system function in the first place. So if you thought this meant the potential news of a PS5 Slim, it's definitely far from it. But what it does mean is that Sony is aiming to better handle the global semiconductor shortage while also reducing production costs. And if you're like me and forgot basic high school physics, it's what helps any electronic control the flow of electricity. So you can see why the global shortage is pretty bad. <laughs> This also explains why the DigiTimes report stated the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is readying itself to be part of the PS5's next stage in its life cycle. The redesign itself? DigiTimes was told advanced micro devices will create a semi customized 6 nanometer CPU, a 1 nanometer increase from the original PS5. This backs up Sony's prediction that it doesn't anticipate PS5 supplies significantly improving before for the end of the current financial year. Speaking of PS5 supply, 7.8 million managed to buy one last year, despite, uh, you know. <laughs> That's a great sign for the console's potential lifetime sales, as it slightly beats the number of PS4s achieved during the same period of time, and it still isn't done selling, attaining more than $3 billion in profits. Its hardware isn't its only changes either. There was a new PS5 update improving DualSense Rumble for back Backwards compatible titles like God of War, and Sony is even partnering with Discord to integrate it into PlayStation. Don't worry, you didn't get a notification just now. What do you guys think? Will any of you get the redesigned PS5 when it eventually comes out? And I'm asking both of those who already own a PS5 and those who don't. Is this what Sony should be focusing on for the future of the PS5? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Yezwoho, and don't forget to check out thegamer.com, the leading source for gaming news, reviews, and interviews. See ya. This isn't the only news about PS5. Click on the links below to the article and our website to learn more. And if you enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe.